Hello, everyone. Welcome to Ukulele. Hello, hello. Yes, we're on this excellent retro adventure here. Man, this game just came out, and I've got to say, I'm very excited. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I've been looking forward to this one for a while. I did not know this even existed until very recently. Oh, oh yeah? I thought I told you about it. You did, but I mean... When was this kickstarted? When did the uh, kickstart? It's been a couple years. Yeah. I think it's like, actually, I think it's around the same time as Mighty Number no. Nine, and uh, <laughs> uh, I I don't like to reference uh, kickstarted uh, games uh, and Mighty Number no. Nine at the same time, uh, but uh, yeah. Now this, uh, I don't know if you ever played Banjo Kazooie or if you ever uh, saw anything about those, but this is a game in the same like spiritual vein as those, a kind of platforming collectathon with a uh, focus on quirky characters and interesting worlds all right so we got what looks like big bad over here oh you think that's the villain uh, what dude uh, maybe just a little bit maybe i don't know he's he got, he even got like the evil henchman over there he looks like Gru with a face mask on <laughs> he kind of does just like no forehead. None at all. all also, he's got like those. super bloodshot eyes. Holy fuck. Yo, he is just. <laughs> he's dripping right now. He is not sober at the moment. No, That's it can't all we're going to say. No, but I, uh, I never played Banjo Kazooie. Surprise, surprise. I'm assuming you did. Uh, oh, yeah. I played a heck ton of Banjo Kazooie <laughs> when I was a kid. Uh, especially the first one. Played. The first one, mm, probably more hours than I could care to mention, and a good bit of the second one too. I, I never got quite as fond of the second one because I just I don't know. It was later in my life when I got started on that one, but it was still really good. So, All but right. then we we never did actually see a proper sequel to that, and it's been some odd twenty years. <laughs> so. The original developers, whoa, there's some weird going on with his back that I'm seeing. But, uh, yeah, shading's a little weird. Yeah, I but, was going to ask about that. I don't know. Um, a few interesting design choices with this game, like it's running on Unity, as opposed to a, a bit more of a more powerful engine, but, like, it seems to pull it off pretty well for the most part. This is kind of weird, but... Uh, not bad. Yeah, I was gonna ask if you did anything with the quality, or is this at uh, Generally, maximum? I can't. Like, uh, we're playing this on the Xbox One, and on most consoles, you don't get to adjust quality settings. Oh, my bad. There, there is, uh, <laughs> there is one setting that works for that console, and that is it. Oh, that's funny. My bad. Oh, he pushed a big red button. What's uh -oh. gonna happen? It's, uh... Letters rising. Alphabet. Books are being delivered. I don't know what the fuck's happening. Uh, um, okay, so fortunately, like, I have played through a bit of this on my own just to kind of get a grasp of the controls and, um, a bit of the story so that I can kind of explain what's happening. So, if essentially, their evil plan is to just kind of, uh, steal every book in the world. <laughs> uh, wait, really? All for the purpose of finding one very specific, very unique book that, uh, will actually get... Explained here in a bit But yeah, hey look here. Here they go. It's uh, oh, they're so cute Yuka and Laylee. No, the character designs are actually really cool like they've brought they, they've managed to bring a lot of that classic charm into uh, This current generation we're in and I actually do appreciate that a lot like the way they use color and character design to kind of You know make things pop Also, you'll notice that's a very interesting way they speak yeah, that that's a, like generally everything about this game is a throwback to Banjo Kazooie. So like that uh, fun fact back in Banjo Kazooie, the way they speak like this was actually a way of saving memory on the cartridge because oh, really? because they didn't have to record full dialogue lines. They could just use like these little sound sound snippets, and then it made it made it very uh, interesting. Oh, that's really funny. I mean, it makes sense. It's just something I didn't consider. What's going on here? Oh, the book. The See. book ascends. Oh. 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 Oh, no. It's Laylee's profit book, and it's, like, gone. Oh. The book Farewell. absconds. <laughs> the book absconds. Oh, but all and the pages. Goodbye. 
<laughs> Goodbye. All the pages got ripped out of it, though. That's well, not good. Do they not account for this when um, they made this machine that sucks books away? I guess not. I guess they really only calibrated it to the cover of the book. Oh my goodness. But you know what they say. Uh... Uh, no. You can't. No. Judge no. Book. Five pages. All oh, right. I don't have any. Okay. So that. <laughs> we're, hey, we're in the game. We're in it. What the? All I right, just kind of like. Playing. I threw the paint. You just. Just fucking. I could just kind of throw that around. That's cool. That fucking um, like was that Comic Sans on that? I don't know. Was it? Can you go back? Cause now I'm curious. Hold on. Hold. Oh, whoa. 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 No, I don't no, think that is. It's just like a very, I don't know, it just looked very out of place. Yeah. No, um, but what was I about to say? The only pet peeve I have with this right now is like, you don't have any of your abilities, say for du jump and double jump, right off the bat. Oh. You have to be told by one very, uh, specific oh. serpent how to do things. <laughs> Where are you? Alright, but yeah, see like... It's a treasure chest. Yeah, I can't open those yet because I don't have my abilities. Oh my gosh. Okay. Uh, but yeah, like the world... This is just like the basic overworld and so far like it's already pretty colorful, pops out a lot. Hey look, here he is. Here's the man I'm looking for. Who are you? Yeah, they don't know him either. Do we know you? Trouser. The snake. I don't know why. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I really love this design, though. That's that's really <laughs> clever. Yeah. Oh, I didn't even think about it, but uh, the trousers he's wearing might actually be a nod to Banjo, because they used to kind of poke fun. Because Banjo just wears a pair of trousers, much like those right there. Oh, yeah. That's about it. He wears that in a shark tooth necklace. <laughs> I hope I said that correctly. I don't actually know. All right, so he's like, hey, bring me these five golden feathers and I shall teach you my ways. Wait, were you talking about the necktie? No, 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 no. Uh, the... Yeah, uh, Trousers there wears a necktie, but Banjo wears a shark tooth ne necklace. Oh, shark... Oh. Oh my god, okay, I feel stupid. <laughs> I was like, is that a type of necktie? I've never heard of that. There we go. See, now I can do this cool spinny trick and I can do a spinny trick in the air. Yes. Hey, doing hey. more stuff. This environment's really cute. I know. I'm really digging it. It's very interesting. Like, it is definitely. Hey, fuck these paint cans. Paint! Fuck all these paint Fucking cans. Recycle Bruh. that shit. Put some cat litter in there so you don't, like. What? You haven't heard of doing that before? No. Yeah, like, um. What are you talking about? Like, old paint cans. Like, if you just, like, have them in the garage, like, you know, you put cat litter in them to dry it up before you throw it away. Does oh. your family never do that? No. Oh. Well, uh, to my knowledge, you know. most people don't. <laughs> I've never heard of that before. Yeah, like for some reason, it's like better to do that than to like pour it down a drain. Oh. Well, I mean, not like a kitchen drain, obviously. But yeah. yeah. I mean, most people have like some sort of way of disposing of that without like using the kitchen sink. Yeah. <laughs> but. Uh, <laughs> That, uh, might cause some problems. <laughs> might cause a bit of an issue with your plumbing. Just a yeah. bit. PSA, don't pour paint down your sink. I mean, you know, like, the occasional... Whoa. Whoa, whoa. Oh, yeah, he's like, hey, you got those five feathers. Come back and talk to me. But there's actually more of them around. Oh, shit. Well, uh, I guess we just won't know. Because mm, no. you fell. Nope. Does the water hurt you? The water does not hurt me. I can swim just fine. Okay. You kept jumping over it, so I just wasn't sure. I just don't want to go swimming yet. Well, is that fine. so wrong? Bet also like this sign. D oh Bet my ship god! Crazy. Oh, I love that. Oh, <laughs> that British humor. Uh, oh, that's see. great. There was nothing in there. No, nope. I mean there was a feather. Oh, I did I'm not see it. I'm collecting them too quickly to see, oh, but oh, there's another missed. one up there. That's all right. I we missed. got it. I did not miss. I merely chose to take a longer path. Oh, that Don't makes more sass sense. Me. I will sass you if I want to. Yeah. Alright, so we got one more. So there's actually seven of these here. There is a hey, cannon. Look, there, there is an NPC cannon. Can you talk? I can Whoa. talk to him. Hey, Blasto, how oh are you gosh. feeling today? <laughs> this is a cannon. His name's Blasto. It's amazing. I will say, I <laughs> like Blasto's voice does not uh, resonate well with me, but. Uh, He's an interesting fellow. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, also, a bird just came sound. out of his cannon. 
Oh my gosh. That fucking parrot back there just decided he was gonna live inside a Blasto. Oh, there uh, he goes. Oh, well. Well. All right then. Okay, so Blasto says he's inhaled a golden sheet of paper like the ones that came out of our book. But I don't have the move to get it out of him yet. So we'll have to come back. He not just reach into his gaping maw and pull Whoa. it out. Shoot. Oh, I thought I had that for a second. It looked like you did. You just clipped through it. That was odd. Yeah, it's a little strange, but mm -hmm. uh, cool. There is trousers, and uh, let's see. Let's. We're gonna go ahead and take a moment to just kind of collect as many of these as we can, because they yeah. do uh, become useful later on. Do some exploring. Do a little bit of exploring out here in the overworld. Some fire. Woo Ooh, how far down does that go? Jeez. Uh, uh, oh, it's an instant it, death. It is bottomless. Okay. It is yes, I see now. An instant opportunity for death. But fortunately, <laughs> whoa, you could don't do I that. I would have laughed so fucking hard oh, if you were God, just like, no. fortunately, and then... And then death. And then death. Alright, well, I think we're doing pretty good. Okay, so hey, let's talk to Charles and see what he's got for us. So the deal was that we would bring him these golden feathers in exchange for information on like, where did our book go? Well, headed toward the business beyond this gate. Evil Strange. corporation. Yeah, it's called, uh, it took me a second the first time I saw it, Hivery Towers. Yeah, Hivery Towers. Uh, you'll remember the big bad huh. there was like... A big old bloated bee fellow. Is that so, what he's supposed to be? Yeah. Huh. Pretty sure that's what he's supposed to uh. be. Like, they use a lot of... Like, his design is very interesting to me, too. Um, we, we, we may not see him again for a while. But I think we also missed his name. Uh, the name of the big bad bee we're headed out to face is Capital B. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> This it's, is killing me it's already. It's amazing. <laughs> Good lord. Uh, alright. So, yeah. Under that thing. Uh, bup, oh. bup, bup, bup. There we go. Cool. You They're did. like, hey, tutorial, you ever played video game before? And I'm like, yeah, I played video game before. I got this. Water. Water. So you can go swimming just fine. No worries. Cool, cool. And yeah, so. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, and then they're like, hey, it's the bad dudes. But anyway, yeah, capital B's design uh, is actually very reminiscent of uh, the villain from Banjo-Kazooie, whose name was Gruntilda the Witch. Oh, the Grunty for short. Um, the arrow was pointing the other way. I don't know if there was something else you were supposed to do first. I think I just, I don't know. I think I can just go back that way, because this is definitely the way I'm supposed to go. But bye. Oh, farewell. Well, just moved right on past goodbye. him. Goodbye. Goodbye. All right. Hey, we're here. Oh, well. the security cameras caught us. Quick, Snake, get into the box. Oh, my gosh. No trespassing. This is private property. <laughs> They're like, what? What? Hello, we're searching for our missing book. We're look we came all the way here in search of one book. That's not irrational. <laughs> Your book belongs to us now, as will most of the world's supply before long. Blah, I'm a duck in the jar. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's just weird. Oh, you know, okay. I was trying to figure out what the letter is reminding me of. It's, um... Yeah? It's like... Okay, correct me if I'm wrong, but in um, Alice in Wonderland, the whole deal with the caterpillar, like, he blows that smoke that's in the shape of letters at one point, right? Oh, yeah, I think you're right. That must have been... I think that's what I was thinking of. Because ah. I was like, why does that look familiar? Maybe. And that's probably something that's been used before, but it's just... I was like, oh, that's that's kind of cool. Yeah. It's, it's probably neat. not intentionally referencing that, but it's like, yeah. Probably not, but still a but nice, still. <laughs> a ni like, a, a nice uh, afterthought all the same. Yeah. All right, but I think um, not much got done, but hey, we've got our introduction to ukulele. Uh, so thank you all so much for watching. We'll see you in the next episode of Co-Play It. Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye.